We're hanging out with NJIT track and fields Maddie Stevens, a junior from Nashua, New Hampshire, here at NJIT. Maddie, thanks for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having me. We're going to start with uh, quite a performance uh, that you guys had in the 4x200 relay at Ocean Breeze, part of the Stack Invitational. You guys set all sorts of records. <laughs> you were the anchor. Yeah. What was that experience like? Um, the previous meet, we really wanted to focus on our handoffs because we messed that up and just getting clean passes, good execution, and I feel like we were really able to accomplish that. And we came off in second, and Coach was just off the line telling me to eat. <laughs> so I had to eat. I ate. <laughs> but um, it was great. We got the record. Um, it was a great team to be a part of, and I'm super proud of everyone. Um, we all contributed, and it was a great experience. So the records are school record, facility record, both of any age and at the college level as well, and the second best time in all of the NCAA this season. Yeah. That, that, that does not happen very, very often. Um, I know it maybe tips will take some time to reflect on it. But oh, for sure. You've had, you just mentioned the opportunity to clean up the handoffs. Right. How do you do that? Um, we practice them. We just really had to see the baton into our hand. And once we were just able to accomplish that smoothly, it just was a piece of cake from there. Okay. <laughs> piece of cake, right? Second best time in the NCAA this season. And it wasn't just the 4x2. Four the 4x4, four four, you guys putting together a school record in yeah. that performance as well. Same day, same yep. facility, all of that stuff. What, what was that like? Um, it was a super long meet, so I was kind of nervous. I was feeling a little tired, um, but once we were just warming up, I felt pretty good, and then I saw that my teammates were all doing amazing. Everyone was dropping sub-60 splits, which is incredible, and I saw Haley. She was just killing it on the back stretch, and I was like, all right, guess I got to keep this lead. Guess I got to keep it going from here, and then... It was great. It was a great experience also. No pressure. No pressure at that a time, A lot of pressure. Right? A, lot of, a pressure. lot of pressure. Okay, okay. <laughs> we wanted to run fast. Coach was really just telling me, he's like, you got to hammer this. You got to you got to eat again. <laughs> you got to just What do you home. what do you eat in the middle of a meet in a long day like that? Oh I mean, you're not gosh. eating a giant steak, right? No, no, no. <laughs> I get super anxious, so sometimes it's really hard for me to eat, but any light carbs, fruit snacks, uh, go go squeezes applesauce, protein bars if it's long enough, you got to get some protein in. Okay. But, yeah. What do performances like this uh, do for you, for the team, going forward in the, in the weeks and months that, that are ahead? Um, it certainly lines us up. We are now second in the American East Conference for the 4x4, which puts us in medal contention, which is great. We haven't had a 4x4 indoor medalist for the um, girls' side, at least. So um, I'm super excited to potentially be able to medal with that. But um, it just leads us up. Um, recruits can look at that. It brings in a lot more attention to the team. So I'm super happy to be a part of the program um, and potentially expand it as well. In terms of medals, there's a couple of those that you have already yeah. from last season. Let's talk about those and look back. What were your experiences earning a medal both uh, in the winter season and then in the spring season as well? Um, I really wasn't expecting to medal, if I'm quite honest. Um, I had a 1.4 second PR in the finals indoors, and I was 0.1 away from getting gold. And I really wanted to be <laughs> the first gold medalist at NJIT, but um, I was super grateful for that, especially coming in seated fourth and then ended up Getting a silver medal indoors and then bronze outdoors, um, a lot more competition. Um, so I was super happy to be able to medal again. In terms of the opportunity to get that gold, I assume that's still a goal for this season. Oh, for sure. How do you, how do you accomplish that? Um, hard work. Hard work, consistency, staying healthy, um, prioritize track. Obviously, you have to prioritize <laughs> school as well. Um, but just trying to really hone in on that and focus on getting what I want. Maddie Stevens is with us here, and Maddie, I want to talk about your journey to NJIT here yes. briefly from Nashua, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Started your collegiate career out in Iowa, now yes. in your second season here at NJIT. What has that whole process uh, been like for you? Oh, that was very stressful. Um, it was during COVID season, getting recruited was pretty hard. Um, Upper Iowa was the only school to offer me a scholarship, so I took my chance out there. Um, I'm here for a reason, <laughs> and I'm super happy that I'm at NJIT. I have a great coach, great team, lots of supporters, and I just couldn't have done it without them. Well, Maddie, we appreciate you taking the time here. We love that you're here as well and doing Thank great you. things with the rest of your teammates. Maddie Stevens of NJIT Track and Field.